Saving, emailing, and printing your flyers. Saving. So we just created this flyer, and now we want to save all the content. This is how we do so. At the upper left-hand corner, I select File, and Save As. Then I type in my flyer name. Good rule of thumb, I like using the address of the property as the file name. It makes it nice and easy to go back to and search for. Once you're happy, go ahead and hit save and now your flyers are saved as a PDF in which you can come back to at any point anytime for changes or edits. Emailing using Microsoft Outlook. Emailing couldn't be any easier using our system. On the upper left hand corner select file, attach to email. What this does is it opens up your email client that you use on your computer. This is great for emailing to your clients, a copy to your clients, or maybe emailing it over to your graphic designer or print shop. Go ahead and select your client and notice that the PDF subject line and the uh, attachment the PDF attachment are already loaded onto the uh, email. Go ahead and type in your message and once you're complete go ahead and hit send and then your files are sent. Emailing using an online email account like Gmail. What we're going to do is now open up Gmail and I'm going to send this uh, flyer out to a client of mine. What I'm going to do is type in um, my client's email address right over here to the uh, to line. And I'm going to type in the subject, their flyer, and their property. And I'm going to attach the file. Notice that here using an online Gmail account or online um, email account, it doesn't automatically populate. So you, collect, you select attach and this is where saving that file earlier comes into play. Search for the file on your computer and attach it to the email. Then I type in my message. Using an online email, um, email account takes a few minutes to load your flyer. Once that's complete, go ahead and click send. And your email has been sent. It's easy. Printing. Printing is really easy. This is how you do so. Upper left hand corner there's a print icon button. Go ahead and select that or you can select file print. A dialog box will open. This is your print dialog box. Over here on the right hand corner or right hand side is your print preview area in which you can see where the flyer, what the flyer looks like. At the upper left hand corner is where you select the printer that you're going to use. Here it's really important. It's called page scaling. What you want to do is you want to select shrink to printable area. This is very important. What this does is it shrinks the file down to the printable area so you'll always have perfect prints every single time. Once you're ready, hit OK and now you can just go ahead and pick up your flyer at the print printer.